some of the news that we've heard today and have been hearing over the past weeks uh, seems to be uh, eroding confidence in, in Daniel Smith's ability to lead. Campaign and candidate controversies, there has been no shortage of either during the run up to the Alberta provincial election, forcing the leaders of the UCP and the NDP to manage their parties and their image ahead of the vote. Both the UCP and NDP camps have had their fair share of political controversies. UCP candidate Jennifer Johnson's comparison of transgender children in schools to having feces in food to NDP candidate Van Tiggum's comparison of Alberta's energy industry to slavery. Yet senior consultant for New West Public Affairs, Christine Myatt says, for this election, what matters the most is which leader, Smith or Notley, handled these controversies better. I think that Danielle Smith had a harder time uh, dealing with the controversies created not only by her candidates, but also from herself and her past comments uh, made when she was a commentator. But what I do think she's done well is delivered a message where she's said, judge me on my actions that I've taken since becoming your premier. And political scientist Laurie Williams believes Notley's approach has been more appropriate to controversies than Smith. There's a lot, a lot of evidence suggesting that that Rachel Notley stands for very different things than some of the the controversial statements in question. Whereas for for Danielle Smith, uh, some of the things she has said in the past line up with some of the controversial statements by made by some of her candidates. Uh, and there are a lot of questions about her position on things like privatization of health care again, based on her own previous statements. After Johnson apologized for her comments, Smith said even if Johnson wins her seat from Lacombe Penoka, she will not be allowed to represent the UCP in the caucus. But there are positives as well. A new survey says voters find UCP leader Daniel Smith to be the best choice on oil and gas, while NDP leader Rachel Notley is seen as best on health care. Health care is one of the top issues in this election, um, and oil and gas is perhaps part of another issue, that is affordability. Um, I think the advantage, if you like, probably falls to Rachel Notley in terms of that leadership thing. But but there's the bigger question of not just what the vision is, but how effective you're going to be accomplishing that vision. The Angus Reid survey found both leaders tied when it comes to having the best vision for Alberta. In Calgary, Hena Said, City News.